hey guys welcome back to another motivational video today i hope to give you guys the motivation you need to tackle that huge pile of laundry you have i managed to clean all our clothes beddings towels throw blankets bathroom mats hanged them folded them and put them all away by the way guys if you like this kind of content on cleaning motivation home decor organization and self-care videos please subscribe we have a goal of reaching 100k subscribers by end of the year we are at 70k plus now and all i can say is thank you so much to all of you so these are the products i'm going to use in today's video i have my downy cashmere and mask scent fabric softener astonish concentrated disinfectant dr beckman stain removal cleaner oxy bleach and liquid detergents i will explain in details as we go into the video also i will plug you guys on some amazing starch sprays that we've been using makes ironing clothes so much easier First thing I'm doing is stripping off all our beddings to wash later and putting in new fresh ones. Then I will also go into both bathrooms and remove all the towels, face towels and hand towels to wash. I really wanted to wash all our duvets in this video plus our guest bedroom ones but it's been really raining a lot of late. I will just have to wait till it's sunny outside again to wash them. I was in such a huge mood to do laundry today when I'm like this I can wash everything in the house but usually once a week I like to set aside either Saturday morning to just do laundry or Sunday afternoon. I got goals, you don't wanna know. I'm collecting everything from around the house that needs to be washed then I will separate the laundry into lights, darks, towels, whites, bed sheets and throw blankets. Heavily soiled laundry like my balcony covers and bathroom mats I wash at the end and finally I'll do a tub clean of the machine. If I had any dirty kitchen towels to wash I would have started with those ones.
I normally use laundry bags to wash my bras by the way. There's a video I did when I washed all my new ones and I didn't put them in laundry bags and it was a big deal to some of you but it's cause I was washing bras alone at the time and I used the delicate setting. When I wash them with another load they go in a laundry bag. Of late, I've been super obsessed with using scent beads. My favorite so far is the Downy Unstoppable Glow Scent. This one makes your clothes, your entire house and compounds smell heavenly. By the way, they are not fabric softeners, so you'll still have to use a fabric softener. These are just purely scent boosters. For a liquid detergent, I'm using the last of my Aerial liquid detergent. Forgot to stock up on this, but I still have my Gamma detergents. I will use those ones for now. For me and my hubby's clothes, I use the quick wash setting. I add the intensive wash though. Our clothes are not stained at all, just need freshening up so there's no need to use a more intense cycle or setting. This way I also get to go through huge loads of laundry quickly because they take about 40 minutes each, 45 if I add extra rinse for towels. For our whites, I normally soak them aside before washing them. I'm using Magix Oxy Bleach and Jig Bleach together. This is what works for us, keeps our whites white. I will let them soak for about an hour or so. There are so many tricks out there for washing whites, you just have to find what works best for you. I added the ducks of camera removing them now then I add in our towels. For the towels I will use the fresh scent boosters. It's a bit mild than the glow one but still smells amazing. I'm using the Gamma Hygiene and Sports Detergent. By the way the Gamma products are distributed by Astonish too. Then I will add in the Astonish Concentrated Disinfectant and Downy Vanilla and Cashmere Mask Scent Fabric Softener. For settings, I'm using quick wash, then I add intensive wash plus extra rinse. As the towels are washing, I'm also going to clean my lunch bag. I try to clean it at least once a week. To wash our bed sheets, I'm using same products and same settings as the towels. I normally don't hang the clothes per load. I prefer hanging them all at once since they take about an hour or so to dry either way. And today it was actually raining outside so I had to wait for the rain to stop. Then I hang them.
this is early morning next day by the way the clothes still smell amazing because of the scent beads i'm 100 percent hooked on them Back to the laundry area, I'm removing the whites, then I start on my throw blankets. I also add in the astonished concentrated disinfector when I'm washing the throw blankets because of the cuts. So this is all the clothes that I have to fold. I know they look like this, they're a lot, but trust me, it's because um, throw blankets are included there and there are like four or five throw blankets inside there. Um, so it looks a bit bulky, but I'm going to show you guys the easiest way um, to fold such a huge bulk of laundry and it will only take you less than around 45 minutes or even less and uh, de depending on your speed um, So I'm going to fold all this in the living room because I have enough space This is a white rope basket. I got it from smart lady homes So I wanted to put it on that corner 
um, and I'm going to put all the throw blankets in here it's going to fit it's actually really wide um, the camera is not doing it much justice so this one I got it from smart lady homes and I want to put it there so I'll fold all um, the throw blankets that I washed and put um, them there and then I got these really nice hangers from them too also smart lady homes they are velvet uh, with the gold hook at the top so these ones they are very thin I like I like them because they're very thin and they're easy to hang so many clothes uh, on my small cupboard and they'll fit so many of them so I got an extra set they're usually 800 bob for 10 so the trick to folding huge loads of laundry is dividing the loads into clothes that need to be hanged first, then put those aside, then divide the rest into groups of trousers, sweaters, beddings, PJs, socks, towels, etc. You'll go through the load very very quickly. By the way, this took me 45 minutes because I remember I only watched one episode of Scorpion and some of this laundry is from last week's load. I didn't fold last week's load. I was doing this on a weekday, that's why I'm in official wear by the way. I am removing the hanging pile out of here and taking it into a room to hang. As you can see, I am left with such a small load and trust me, folding goes very quickly once you divide the loads. I actually plan to turn one of my spare bedrooms into like a closet stroke linen closet. I will do a video of it. It will still be a spare bedroom but also a linen closet. I will explain it way better in the video. I have a linen storage problem in this house but I will sort it out. I'm still healing. When I'm folding our towels, I like to bring all the small baskets where I put our face towels and hand towels plus the big basket where I put the big towels to fold as I organize. It's way faster. Now it will just be to take them back to where I shell them. The big striped basket is also from Smart Lady Homes. I don't want to say anything Cause if I do I might say the wrong words Oh no So keep my mouth shut and I listen Afraid I lose you if I didn't Can we find what we're missing And compromise So keep my shoes so me not leaving We're on thin ice winter season Can we find a single reason not to say goodbye
don't know what to do anymore. I'm out of options, nothing's working. I'm out of service. I'm out of service. Come help me. I'm trying, but can't scratch the surface. So I'll keep my mouth short and I listen. Afraid I lose you if I didn't. Can we find what we're missing and compromise? So I'll keep my shoes so I'm not leaving. We're on thin ice, winter season. Can we find a single reason not to say goodbye? Move to the bedroom to put everything away. This usually feels so amazing to have clean folded clothes, linen and towels and they've all been organized away only to do this again next week. I'm adding this clothing scented sachets at the back of my drawers and wardrobe. Helps the clothes stay smelling fresh. I got them at Simi Vogue. They really make such a huge difference. So I just wanted to plug you guys in on these two starch sprays. So you use the starch sprays when you're ironing your clothes. Uh, mostly it's my hubby who uses it, who uses them when he irons his official clothes. Uh, personally, mine I don't see the need, but to him it makes such a huge difference on how um, his clothes come out, his official clothes come out when you use the starch spray to iron them. So we have the astonish one here. Um, so this one's touch spray leaves clothes fresh and crease free and then there's the uh, Dr. Beckman Let me wait for that uh, Helicopter to pass Yes, and we also have the Dr. Beckman spray starch easy ironing one So I don't know which of the two is his favorite But um, he grabbed them both at the same time. So sometimes he interchanged but he told me they both work the same um, There's no difference between the two. So if you're having a hard time ironing clothes that are not ironing to the perfection or to whatever to the extent that you want them to be crease free I would highly recommend using um, either the, st the Astonish starch spray or the Dr. Be Beckman spray starch easy ironing one. I want to clean um, all my bathroom mats so this is the last thing that I'm going to do and I'm using um, Downy the glow unstoppable ones uh, scented beads Astonish disinfectant and gamma hygiene and spot um liquid detergent so i got this set of laundry bags um they come in two 
they come to in the pack uh, from Miniso so I got them because of the size these are a bit way bigger than the ones that I have as you can see this one is for sweaters and jeans and t-shirts and shirts so the ones I have are just for like bra and innerwear so I had to get a really really big um, size and I got them at Miniso for 359 bob uh, for two of them and they sell them singles for like I think 159 bob so the last thing I'm doing is running a tub clean on my machine so that it's clean for the next round of laundry that I'm going to do. I'm using the Dr. Beckman machine care cleaner. If you don't have this, you can use baking soda on the drum and vinegar on the soap compartment still works perfectly. If you don't have a tub clean option on your machine, just run a normal cycle but add temperature of water to about 40 degrees Celsius. So this is it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video.